Hey you guys, it's Lala and thank you so much for watching Lala Tarot. I am here today and we are going to unbox the Good Karma Tarot. I am so excited to show you guys this deck. It just came from Amazon today. Um, and so I'm, I just wanted to unbox it on camera with you all. It's, it's just been on my, my heart um, and it's been my intentions to come and share, share with you all because God has been so good to me. Guys, I feel so blessed. Um, now, I am tired. I'm so tired. But I was like, you know what? My channel is important. I've been missing in action for a few weeks now. I had a lot going on, guys. I've been busy. Your girl been working and your girl been mastering things and accomplishing things. And I'm so proud of my success. And I can't wait to share those things with you as well. But despite how I'm feeling, I'm always here to commit myself to my channel and to you guys because this is my passion and this is part of my life purpose. And so God has been good to me. You know, I've been blessed with decks and I always want to come and give back and share messages that may be meant for you all. So my... um my desk is not set up the way I want. My altar is not set up the way I want right now, but we gonna roll with it because this is the best I got right now. All right. The point of the matter is we're looking at the Good Karma Tarot today by Carrie Ward. And so, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys this deck. Um, it is a total of 78 major and minor arcana cards. All right. And what I really like about it is it's so modern you know you got people who have pink hair and tattoos and things like that so we're going to get into this today but first i'm always going to show you guys the complimentary complimentary decks that i feel would go best with these cards um so let's start there okay we'll put these babies to the side just for a quick moment and we'll start off with the decks that i think will work very well with these as always we're going to do a spread at the end of this reading i'm sorry at the end of this unboxing we're going to do a mini spread and a mini reading um to give you guys some information that i feel would be so helpful for you guys going into um, your week ahead and also into May, of course. So stick around for that. You do not want to miss your personal slash general reading, but almost like personal. All right. So the deck that I feel like would um, really work well with this is the Legendary Ladies. That's one of the decks that I'm going to use for your spread today. And this is such a beautiful deck. And um the box itself is just so pretty and it's so colorful and yet it's very simplistic. Um, these are the backs of the Legendary Ladies and it has like these goddesses on there and they're all from different cultures and you know they have these names that I will never be able to pronounce you know. Um, I try my best to but you know I mess up often. But they have these really great messages on the bottom of them, such as enlightenment and, you know, healing. And, you know, it really lets you tap into your divine feminine energy and really see, um, you know, how you're looking, how you are appearing. Or maybe just, you know, giving a soft and gentle suggestion of what type of energy would be useful to you at the moment you know such as boundaries you know if you get the boundaries card maybe you need to set strong boundaries you know in this situation you know maybe the situation is calling for you to have strength with ices here so i really think that this deck is going to go very very well with the good karma tarot and i'm looking forward to um using it today and you guys is um spread that we pull after we unbox uh this tarot deck okay so check that out on amazon it was very cheap too the legendary ladies i think was like maybe 15 dollars if that i don't really remember next we have the crazy sexy love notes this is one of my personal favorites i've always loved the crazy sexy love notes um by chris carr it's so simple yet it's just so useful you know a lot of the messages that you receive are just straight quick to the point but it's exactly what you need to know you know in this moment so you'll get you know tips such as accept compliments you know something bigger is on the way so you'll get like answers to your questions and again it's very colorful 
and just soft and you know i really really love this deck on the back you get this you know more detailed message that really joins and and combines things and pulls things together in your reading so that you can really understand the message that spirit has for you so crazy sexy love notes is just one of the decks that i really feel will work very well with the good common tarot we're also going to use this today in your almost personal reading coming up next so stick around you are not going to want to miss that it has a special message just for you all right looking forward to using this today very good now finally the last complimentary deck that i feel you know is going to work very very well um, and this is just, this might only be particular to like some, some people, but it's the Mama Natural Affirmation Cards and it is a pregnancy deck. I felt like it was so pretty. Now I'm not pregnant, right? But it's so, such a pretty deck that I was like, I want it. It's by Genevieve Howland and it's just so gorgeous that it made me want to either be pregnant or just have you know these cards because it's just such a pretty lovely deck you know it has a keyword and on the back um it also has more of a detailed message that you can really read and um i feel like you could probably apply these even if you're not necessarily pregnant they still have good messages like i am prepared and confident you know, my body is preparing to breastfeed my baby. So maybe you're not necessarily breastfeeding your baby, but maybe your body is preparing for something. Maybe your body is working and doing exactly what it needs to do in this moment. And that could be a message that resonates for you, even if you aren't necessarily breastfeeding or pregnant. So I love the pictures. I loved how modern the women on the deck looked and that's exactly what the good karma tarot um, also has is a lot of modern women one of the things that i really really love about this deck is that it includes women of color it includes uh it has a lot of diversity and it also includes images of women who are not only like married women with spouses there to help support them through their pregnancy but single moms you know sometimes your support person during your pregnancy is your nurse or maybe your best friend or maybe your husband or maybe you know you hired someone you know but whatever it is this deck um definitely helps you to feel like you can still have the best experience being pregnant as a mother even if you don't have the traditional you know situation where you have a husband and I appreciate that, okay? This is such a beautiful card. I love being pregnant is what it says. So um, I look forward to using this deck today and you guys' spread. You may not necessarily be pregnant or who knows, maybe there is someone out here who's watching who is pregnant. If so, this is probably a very special message for you because I've been called to use this deck for a couple days now. It's been on my heart to use this deck with the good karma tarot as I await it for its arrival. So we're going to use all three of those decks today as we unbox the good karma tarot and i'm looking forward to that i have my little incense here and you know we're just lighting up and chilling out um before bedtime again i'm very tired but i'm always going to give you guys my last little drop of energy um that i have and just make sure that i'm checking in on my people all right so I hope you guys have been great. Let's go ahead and take this top off. I'm excited to see it. I've waited for it for a long time. All right, the good Carmen's hero. There's nothing in the inside. Y'all know I like my insides to be looking good. Y'all know I like a little something extra here. So I'm a little disappointed about that. But we're going to go with it, okay? This deck retails for $18.95. So it's on the cheaper side. You know, I don't expect it to be extravagant. It's not a $35, $40, $50, $60 deck. So I'm going to deal with that. You know, I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead, open it up, and see what's going on, all right? We have the split deck. Now, I have a couple decks that are split, such as the Everyday enchantment tarot i think that's the one it's split in half it's a very large deck very beautiful deck but i don't necessarily prefer the split decks um 
like this i like my cards all to be together but i can work with it you know i can deal with it it's just not the most sturdy and reliable type of boxing but i'm okay with it you know so we get this beautiful guidebook here and it's uh it's, it's in color oh yeah it's so it's in color and it goes through straight to the introduction, the major arcana, the minor arcana, and how to work with the deck and the acknowledgement. So it doesn't play around a lot. And I can appreciate that, you know, as someone who's a little bit more experienced with tarot and oracle, I can appreciate us just getting straight to the minor arcana cards, you know? That's okay with me. There's no extra spreads to come in here and talk about. There's not a lot of, you know, riffraff. It just kind of gets straight to the point. You have these colored pages, which I'm really fond of. The uh, minor arcanas have a little bit of smaller pictures where the major arcanas, um, you get a full page for the picture. So that's one of the differences that I see. I also see that there's um, a good karma tip here at the bottom of the deck where they talk about like for this one strength it says make friends with your demons and inner dark forces use them when they are useful so it kind of gives you a little tip about how to i guess have strength and courage um through whatever situation you may be going through so really cute guidebook i mean i like this i i really do it feels good it's matte and it's a quality guidebook all right it's very quality so very nice. Again, The Good Karma Tarot by Carrie Ward is what we're unboxing right now. Now, let's go ahead and get straight to the cards, all right? Um, they are split in half. So I got to start here. I got to put half the deck here. And then I got to go ahead and put half the other deck, half of the deck here. All right. So now we got our full deck. Let's look at the back of the cards. All right. So it's a thick deck here. As you guys can see, it's pretty thick. It's pretty thick. All right. There's a little bit of bend marks from it being split in half. All right. I do see a couple bends. I am a tarot and oracle card collector. So I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm just really specific about how I like my cards, how I like my decks. I like to collect them and look at them and smell them. If they smell good, I'm all in. <laughs> but yeah, so here are the backs of the card and it kind of just looks like a leaf to me um that's what it looks like it is pretty glossy the cards easily kind of slip around and float around um so it is pretty glossy which doesn't bother me i like glossy cards some people don't but it's cool and the size of them are really good you guys know i have big hands i don't have my nails on today and i'm really disappointed about that y'all know i love my tips honey i like to tap 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 our hard boxes i can't even tap today honey i'm <laughs> i'm so disappointed y'all um because i went to go get my nails done this is a side note hold up pause i went to go get my nails done and I took my um, my nails and my acrylic and everything off. My nails were really long. My natural nails are really, really long. And they were like, oh, we don't have time to do this. We don't have time to take this off and put another full set on. So we're just going to take this off and we will cut this down. And we're going to do like an overlay with just some polish. Like what? And charge me $50 for this. This is not what's up. So now I got to... When I get a chance, you know your girl's busy. So when I get a chance, I have to go back and get my tips added on back to these and grow my nails back out all over again. But we're going to make it work right. I have decided to just take this as a period of rest to let my nails breathe, cut them short and wear them naturally. And that's just how we're going to view it. Because what else can we do but turn it into lemonade, right? So... That was just a side note to let y'all know I've been going through some things. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the deck. Um, so it's thick. I love it. I like it. And I like how colorful it looks. Love the color, especially as we go into spring. So the first card here, you have the Fool and the Magician. The High Priestess, that's so cute. And the Empress, the Empress has a tattoo. 
that's so pretty you have the emperor which is a lady the hair of font that's different the lovers there's no numbers on here so I do like to have the numbers from a major arcana. It helps me remember the numbers. You have the chariot and justice with the pink hair. A lot of them have pink hair, apparently. Hermit. This is so nice. The wheel of fortune and strength. You have the hangman. Ooh, and the death card. Oh, that's nice. That's different. All right, guys, you have temperance. And the devil. And the tower. The star. I think this is the one on our cover. And the moon. This is so nice. So modern, you know. The sun. Judgment. The world. And then we go into our minor arcana. We have the Ace of Wands, and she has a nail polish. I like it. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. The Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. All right, then we're gonna go into our cups. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, nice interracial couple. Beautiful little children. I love that card. Oh, look at this one, guys. The Page of Cups. That's nice. The Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups and the king of cups so there are guides in this deck too mostly in the court cards now we have our ace of swords our two of swords three of swords four of swords five of swords six of swords seven of swords our Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. That's different. All right, and then we're gonna go into our Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. Oh my gosh, he has pink hair. Oh my god, you guys. This card is just giving me so much right now. <laughs> All right. 
All right, now our coins. The Ace of Coins. The Two of Coins. The Three of Coins. The Four of Coins. The Five of Coins. The Six of Coins. Seven of Coins. The Eight of Coins, the Nine of Coins, and the Ten of Coins. Page of Coins, Knight of Coins, the Queen of Coins, and the King of Coins. Oh, looking like a baller. <laughs> Look at him looking like a baller. All right, I like it. I like it. So that is the good karma tarot, guys. It's a nice card stock, you know. It's it's thin, but it's not too thin. It's glossy. It's, it's I like it. I like it. I definitely think it's worth the eighteen ninety five. You know, this is this is nice. You know, it's colorful. It's modern. You have people who have you know um, tattoos and you know, pink hair, and, you know, I really like what I'm seeing, and I could definitely get into this deck a lot, a lot. So let's go ahead and let's go, let's go ahead and pull you guys a spread. Again, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I want to make sure that I'm getting my rest in, guys, because I got, I got things to do, but I'm here all for you guys tonight. So let's pull you all a spread. Um, let us talk about whatever wants to come out. Um, we are specifically going to be looking more so towards the uh, month of May and what you all can expect there because we're almost at May now. Um, but before we do that and um, go into your spread for May, I first just want to pull you all a abundance card because that is going to be one thing that we're going to be doing on this channel we are going to be getting our coins we're going to be getting our prosperity and our money we're going to be speaking that into existence and getting ourselves together there's so many readers out here on youtube and you guys are free to follow and listen to whoever you want no judgment but there's so many stations that you can listen to and channels you can listen listen to that's going to keep you hooked up and connected to exes and past people and what they're doing and what they're thinking and to be honest with you guys i get it i've been there before where you're worried about this person from your past and you're still healing from that situation but it's not beneficial to you to continue to follow that every person's thought and move at some point we also need to put some time into our abundance our prosperity and the things that are relevant to us personally so on this channel that is one of the things that we're going to be doing and i hope that you guys can appreciate that about lala tarot and that's what's going to set me out apart from any other stations because on this channel we're going to be getting ourselves together so that we can be our best self and our highest self, you know, and continue to heal and continue to love and shed our light, but also, you know, to get our abundance and prosperity and be our very best. So let's start off by going into your spiritual message using the Angels Abundance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, we will pull your spiritual message to see how you can call in your prosperity in the month of May. All right. So let's start there. How can you call in your prosperity in the month of all right, May? Some of you guys might feel a little bit blocked or stuck in some sort of way. You know, like maybe like the energy is just um, like it's difficult for you to push forward. All right. That's possible. Let's go ahead and see how can you call in your financial prosperity in the month of May. One card, please. Month of May for the viewer. Thank you. All right. You have deservingness. You are a beloved child of God. 
like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. So in the month of May, Spirit is saying, listen, you got to know that you deserve this. You got to know that you deserve to receive support that will allow you to focus on your life purpose like everybody else. You deserve to receive help and support and love and prosperity just like everyone else. You have lovable qualities and spirit wants you to trust that God and the angels do recognize and see how amazing you are. Do you also see how amazing you are and how much you deserve to be blessed? That's your question because you do. All right. So in the month of May, you know, you're going to prosper by learning how to understand that you deserve prosperity because you do. All right. So let's start there. And then we're going to go on to our message for um, I don't want to put that about that candle child. We ain't trying to start no mess tonight. All right. So we'll put our little card right here. <laughs> but let's go on to talk about, you know, what can you expect in the month of May? Maybe the unexpected, the things that maybe you didn't know were coming in and that you didn't know were coming your way. Could be in love, could be in work, could be in finances. Take the messages that resonate with you guys because they will not resonate with everybody. So if it fits, fine. But if it doesn't, do not try to force it. So in the month of May, let's see what's the unexpected thing that you all can really expect now that I'm giving you the tea, honey. Giving you the tea. So month of May, using the Good Karma Tarot by Carrie Ward. Go out and get you a copy. $18.95. I got it from Amazon. I'm so happy to have this deck. All right, guys. Woo, you all have the three of swords. Mm, 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 mm. The three of swords. This is a slippery little sucker too. So in the month of May, you guys have the three of swords. All right, why? Is there some sort of heartbreak here? Could there potentially be a breakup caused by a third party situation? For some of you, it does not have to be. But there's some sort of disappointment, heartbreak. This could also be an X. Sometimes I read the Three of Swords as an X. Go ahead and tell me about those Three of Swords, please, for the viewer. What can they expect for the month of May? Month of May, clarifying the Three of Swords. Okay. We got the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck, guys, you all have the nine of coins. So you looking good, baby. You looking single. This is for my singles out there. You guys are looking good. You looking single. You're looking abundant. You're looking self-sufficient and independent. And I say, woo. And after that, baby, you guys got the nine of cups. You may be seeing a lot of nines lately, like synchronicities with nines, but I see the nine of cups. So your wishes are being fulfilled, especially financially. Things are coming into fruition. Things are coming true for you. All right. You may not know what the future holds with the high priestess, but trust in your instincts, trust in your intuition. Okay. I see you being the empress and I see you being very, very abundant. You could be having a baby. Some of you all may be pregnant. You may not know it yet, but there's some sort of wish that's being fulfilled in the month of May. You could find out that you're pregnant. For some of you though, I do see that there was or has been or will be some sort of a breakup here um, in a love situation. There's some sort of hurt or pain or disappointment. And I feel like, you know, you may be refusing to talk to this person or see this person. There's blockages here with the Eight of Swords. It's like you almost are blocking this person to protect your peace and in order for you to be able to heal. Um, there's a lot of mental energy here as well. We have all swords, the three of swords, the eight of swords, and the four of swords. 
You could potentially be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, but I definitely see that there's been a, a breakup and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm refusing to see this person. I'm refusing to talk to this person. Um, I, I'm, I'm blocking this situation out because it's more peaceful um, for me by being able to block this person out and do so. So you're healing from a breakup. We go from the three of swords to the four of swords in the month of May. So if there was maybe a breakup in the recent past, in May, you're healing from that situation. Now, you may be thinking about it. Um, you know, you may be all up in your head about it. You know, you may have some fears in regards to um, the situation. But I feel like you're going to be healing and resting and just taking a break and focusing on your peace and your relaxation. So let's take a look and see what you are looking like in the month of May. We're going into using our uh, Legendary Ladies deck that we talked about before. So in the month of May, let's see what you're looking like. All right, in the month of May, one card, please. Oh, we got two cards. We look, we have strength, ooh, baby, and boundaries, yes. All right, guys, y'all looking strong in the month of May. Y'all looking like, baby, you don't want none of this. With ISIS here, you looking real strong to people. All right, you're looking like you have set strong and healthy boundaries about what you will and will not accept, especially with the Eight of Swords. This is blocking someone. So no, 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 I won't be taking this. I won't be dealing with this. I, re I refuse to deal with this. I refuse to see this. I refuse to speak to you because I'm going to protect my peace and I'm going to be happy. So you look very strong. You look like you have boundaries for what you allow and what you do not allow you also have the nine of coins so you're someone who's just very self-sufficient and you know independent and i feel like you are um, demonstrating strength and courage in a situation especially you know after this breakup that you go through there's definitely some healing taking place but you look like you're holding up you look like you're strong and you look like you're not allowing this person to come back and see your life you've blocked this person and there's clear boundaries put in place now spirit wants you to remember that you deserve everything you deserve to receive the support, you know, that you need or that you want. All right. Trust it. The gods can and, and the angels can see how amazing you are. All right. Let's get some additional messages here for you for this spread for the month of May. A couple additional messages. I don't know if something flipped. All right. There we go. All right, you guys have pause, pause. It says, if you're feeling unsure about a decision, there's probably a good reason. Take your time and think it through. There's no, re no need to rush. Allow your heart's wisdom to guide you. If you feel pressure to act immediately, it's probably a sign that this isn't the right opportunity. Don't worry because more opportunities will come along and the right ones will fit like a gorgeous glove. Somebody's trying to pressure y'all to make a decision in the month of May. And you're going to have to set clear boundaries with this person. Like, wait a minute, pause. I need time to think. You know, I need to be able to stand in my strength and stand in my power and make decisions that are beneficial for me. So you need to step back. You need to wait a minute because I need time to meditate and I need time to think about a situation and what's going to be best for me, you know, in this situation. I feel like somebody's going to be trying to get you to let go of these boundaries that you have in place. You know, somebody's going to be trying to get you to kind of like, you know, lower this guard and lower these boundaries so that they can come back in. This could be an ex that you blocked out that you're healing from. This could be somebody, you know, trying to get you to talk to them and let go of this boundary in place where you block this person out. But you need to pause and make the decision that's going to be in your best interest and that's going to be best for you. Okay. Now, last but not least, we're going to go into our little pregnancy oracle also called, I think it's like the Mama, Mama Naturals Affirmation Deck. 
So let's go ahead and talk about that and see what affirmation we have for this spread. This might only resonate for some of you guys, especially if you're pregnant right now. Um, for others of you, it may not resonate at all, but you know, we'll see if this deck works out. I like it though. And I felt like it was going to go real good with the good karma tarot. So, and so far, as you can see, all of these decks have so much color and they're working very, very nicely with each other. So your last and final card is what for the month of May? What's the last and final card? All right. All right. We'll take it. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Last final card, guys. I, ooh, I am strong. I am able. Honey, child, I told y'all, this deck is going real good. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. I'm just seeing this lion here. I'm just seeing this tiger here. But, um, yeah, so I'm strong and I'm able. And that's that strength coming through. I told y'all this deck is resonating, baby. So, yeah, I'm strong and I'm able. So, Spirit wants you to know you are capable all right you are strong and you're capable you're capable of getting through this breakup you're capable of getting through this situation and healing you're capable of you know implementing strong boundaries you're capable of being deserving of love and true support you're capable of being self-sufficient and independent and getting everything that you wish for and that you dream of you're capable and you're able it says think about the most challenging thing you've ever done how did it feel at the beginning? Exciting, overwhelming, scary, but you did it anyway, right? You achieved your goal because you are stronger and more able than you know. Awesome, guys. You are going to achieve your goals. Whatever your goals are, put yourself first. You know, think about the things that you want and that are in your best interest set strong boundaries with people anybody who's trying to deter you from that goal take a minute to pause take a minute to do what's best for you and what's in your best interest take a minute to think things through don't let nobody rush you into feeling pressure to act immediately and make decisions immediately if it's the right opportunity for you then it's going to wait for you and it's going to be there for you to make a decision Anybody who tries to rush you into decisions and rush you into joining in and jumping in and committing to something, that's not the right decision for you. So take a minute to pause, meditate, you know. Maybe you're all up in your head about a decision that needs to be made and they're telling you to take a minute to meditate on the situation. The answers that you seek will come through meditation, you know, but I do see some sort of disappointment. I see some sort of heartbreak or this could be an ex coming to you to express how they feel and that they are heartbroken, you know, and maybe that maybe you need to think about things and think these things through if you even want to take this person back. But don't let anybody pressure you to make a decision. Continue to have your strong boundaries in place. Continue to demonstrate your strength. Know that you are deserving of love. You're deserving of the absolute best. You are abundant and single, independent, brilliant, and beautiful. And you will ultimately get your wish. All right, guys. Oh, look, and we have the sun card popping out over here. Wow, look at that little surprise that they wanted to give us. The sun, you will be happy, all right? You guys will be happy. You will get your wish in the month of May. Um, and I hope that these messages have resonated with you. Hope they've been helpful. This has been an unboxing of the Good Karma Tarot by Carrie Ward. I got it off of Amazon. And to me, you know, it's just really beautiful. The colors are really great and um, I'm thankful to have it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I apologize for being gone for so long. Again, your girl been busy. She been accomplishing her goals, all right? The messages that I give you today, I'm living it. And I want you guys to live it right with me because we in this together. If you follow my channel, there is some sort of, you know, connection here. And I would like for you guys to continue to watch and continue to join me on my journey as a tarot reader. I appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, mwah, peace.